One day, Duck was resting in the engine shed when the fat controller arrived. Would you like to have a branch line of your own? He asked. Yes, please, sir, Duck replied excitedly. And he took charge of his own branch line, which ran along the coast to the small railway. Duck was very proud of his branch line, but he couldn't do all the work himself. So Donald and Douglas took turns helping him. One evening he was talking to Donald. You don't understand how much the fat controller relies on me, said Duck proudly. I'm a great western and... Quack, 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 interrupted Donald. You sound like you laid an egg. Now let an engine sleep. Quack yourself, said Duck indignantly. The following morning, Duck spoke to his driver. Donald says I quack as if I laid an egg, he said. Let's play a joke on him and teach him a lesson. I have an idea, laughed his fireman, and he whispered something to Duck and his driver. That night, when Donald was asleep, Duck's driver and fireman put something into Donald's water tank. The next morning, when Donald stopped for water, he found an unexpected passenger aboard. A little duckling popped out of his water tank. His driver and fireman could hardly believe their eyes. But Donald smiled. I know who's behind this, he laughed. And Donald told them what had happened in the shed. The duckling was tame. She shared the driver and fireman's sandwiches and rode in the tender. But as the day went on, she grew tired of travelling and hopped off at a station where she stayed. Before they reached home, Donald and his driver and fireman made a plan. And when Duck's crew arrived in the morning, they made a surprise discovery. Look, Duck, they laughed. There's a nest with an egg in it under your bunker. Donald opened a sleepy eye. Well, well, he exclaimed. You must have laid there in the night. Duck laughed. You win, Donald. It would take a clever engine to get the better of you.